All right, guys, so today I'm going to show you the best settings for IGTV. If you're wanting to upload your videos to Instagram in the best quality possible, then IGTV is the way to go. And I'm going to show you the settings that you should use. So let's get into the video. All right, guys, Neil from Neil Collins Recording. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back to my channel if you're not. Either way, appreciate you stopping by to watch this video. If you do like the video and find it useful, please leave it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I read and reply to every comment, so please do leave a comment below. Start a conversation, trying to build a bit of a community, so comments are always good. If you haven't already, if you could consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell so I can notify you when future content is released. I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday at the moment, gear tech reviews, tutorials, all that sort of thing. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, then please do remember to hit the subscribe and a notification bell. So let's get into today's video. So a lot of the people that follow this channel are gonna be videographers, amateur, professional, it doesn't matter. People that like to make videos and share them on social media. Now I've done a few videos on social media settings. I did one on Facebook settings that you can find here. I also did one on vertical video on Instagram that you can find here. And I'll link them both in the description below as well. This one today I'm specifically gonna be looking at IGTV and the best settings for IGTV. Instagram is a strange one, being that it is the most visual of the social media platforms and gives you the least resolution for your videos. So you do have to bear this in mind. Standard videos on your Instagram grid are gonna be displayed in a resolution of 640 by 360 if it's a 16 by nine video, or 640 by 640 if it's square. Either way, the resolution isn't amazing. I will be doing another video on the best export settings for standard Instagram videos, but today, like I say, we are just talking about IGTV. And there's a reason for this. I would suggest if you've got a video that you want to show in the best quality possible, then you should be using IGTV to upload to Instagram. And there's a good reason for this. IGTV videos will be displayed in a resolution of 1152 by 648, so nearly 720p, nearly HD. So that's much better than the 640 by 360 that the standard videos on Instagram are displayed at. You're automatically doubling the resolution on your video. So I'll show you the export settings that you need to use. I'm going to be using Premiere Pro, but you can translate these export settings to any editing software that you're using. So let's have a look. IGTV used to only accept vertical video, but it now accepts horizontal video as well, which is great. So I'm going to show you how to export both. So I've got a simple drone video here that I took this weekend. Uh, I filmed a wedding on Canberra Sands and this was getting the sunset early in the morning. About six o'clock it was, early start, nice. The video itself is in 4K resolution, but I don't want to be exporting 4K resolution to Instagram because their compression will just crush the video and make it look rubbish. You want to be getting your videos as close to their display resolutions as possible so your video doesn't suffer from Instagram's compression. So what I found is 1080p videos upgraded to IGTV work fine with a few adjustments and I'll just show you how to do that. So you can upload to IGTV in horizontal or vertical. It used to just be vertical but now it's horizontal and vertical. So I'll show you horizontal first of all. So if we just bring up my export options, we're going to keep the format at H.264. Preset, we're going to get a custom going to use drone camber horizontal we've got width height 1920 by 1080 that's fine frame rate 23.976 24 frames per second fine all this we can leave that's fine make sure render at maximum depth is ticked why you wouldn't want that I don't know so we'll leave that on so you want to make sure that your profile is main and your level is 4.2 okay it'll probably be set at 5.1 as standard but we're going to change it to 4.2 so when you get to it it'll probably be on vpr one pass now you want to change this to cbr and you want your target bitrate to be 15 megabits per second i've experimented with this a little bit 15 seems to be a good number to use um, but you may want to experiment with this a little bit try 20 try 10 see if it makes any difference to the quality of the video and then you just want to make sure that use maximum render quality is ticked which it is, and then you just want to export, okay? 
So if you're wanting to export a vertical video, personally, I love a bit of vertical video. It utilizes the whole of the Instagram real estate. So I would advise use vertical video when you can. There's a link in the description to a video I've done on vertical video for reels and stories. So vertical video, you're going to want to go to file, new, sequence, and in the settings, we're going to change this for, to 1080 by 1920. Okay, and this gives us the vertical video sequence. So we're just going to copy the footage from the horizontal sequence and drop it onto our vertical sequence. Okay, now we have the horizontal video on our vertical timeline. Obviously, unless you've shot in vertical video, you are going to lose some of the video. So you're going to want to play around with the position in the effect controls. So I'm just going to move this across so I get the sun. Okay, that's all good. That plays fine. Okay, so that's good to go for me. So I'm now going to export the video. So I'm going to control M. Here, we're going to leave it at H264. I'm going to go to custom. So we're going to want to change the width to 1080. And we're going to want to change the height to 1920. Okay, and now we've got our vertical video ready to export. Frame rate, 23.976, that's fine. Now here we're going to want to change it from high to main. And we're going to change the level to 4.1. Okay. We're going to render at maximum depth. We're going to change from VPR1 to CBR. And we're going to change the target bitrate to 15, like for the other video. Then we're going to use maximum render quality. In the output name, we're going to output to Drone Camber Vertical. Yeah, overwrite that. And then we're just going to go to export. If you have the horizontal video playing on IGTV, it will play the horizontal video, but obviously in the middle of the phone. You may want the option to be able to switch the phone over and play your video in horizontal, but take up the full screen of the phone. So you'd go to your vertical video. So you would go to your effect controls. You would go to the position and make sure it's 540 by 960. So it's in the middle again. Then you would go to rotation. You'd go 90 degrees. And then you would bring the scale down to fill the screen, which will be 50. Now you've got a vertical video, but it's filled with the horizontal image, okay? And then you can just export that as you would the other vertical video. So that's all the exports. Now I'm gonna quickly show you how to import them into IGTV. The good thing about IGTV is I would recommend doing it on your computer. Most of the time on Instagram, it's easier to use your phone to upload. In the case of IGTV, it's easier to do it straight from your computer. So you go into your Instagram account on the internet. I've got mine here. You would go to your IGTV tab and you would go to upload video. So you can see it here, it says your video must be between one and 60 minutes long. So I didn't mention this before. So we'll go back into Premiere Pro quickly. And as you can see, my videos are less than a minute long. So what you're gonna wanna do is just loop the video. So I would copy and paste the video so that it's longer than a minute. Uh, it doesn't matter, it plays it more than once. You want people to watch your video more than once anyway. You wanna get as much view time as possible on Instagram. So that's not an issue. Then I would export it in exactly the same way that we've done before. So in IGTV, we're just gonna drag our video in. And there we have it, easy as that. Um, so the details, we just drone camber. So in your description, you'd need to put your description and also put your hashtags and tag in any companies or people that you want to tag into your videos. Do it all in the description. Um, I wouldn't do it in the comments section underneath an IGTV video. I'll do it all in here. In the IGTV tab on Instagram, it will have the cover photo as a vertical photo. But on your grid, if you share it on your grid, it will be a square photo. It will just take the middle section of your vertical photo for the square photo in the main grid. Now I will be doing another video in Photoshop showing you how to do it so that it looks great on both. You've done your details, you've done your description, you've done your hashtags, and then you're just gonna post that to your Instagram grid and you are good to go.
You'll have your video up on Instagram in the best possible resolution for your friends or businesses to see your video. And that's how you do it. So it's up to you if you want to use this method or the standard Instagram grid. But this way you will get a slightly higher resolution on your video as well, double resolution. And I like the way that you can upload it straight from your computer. That for me makes it a lot easier. So I hope you found the video useful. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Always read and reply to all, all your comments and it's always good to start a conversation, build a bit of a community. That's what I'm trying to do. If you haven't already, if you could please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. At the moment, I'm releasing content on a Monday and Thursday, gear tech tutorials, reviews, all that sort of thing. So subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you in the next one.